toy inside. And I had everyone but Samantha, the safari guide. I stuck my paw deep inside the box, but there was nothing there. Well, nothing but safari crunchies. When I pulled out my paw, a bunch of crunchies came with it. <laughs> Mommy didn't seem too happy about that. My toy is missing, I cried. Daddy chuckled. Oh, I wouldn't say that. I think the early bear got the worm. Then I saw Bella. She was playing with Samantha. Mine! Mine! She squealed. I cleaned up my mess and poured a bowl of crunchies. I thought to myself, hmm, how could I get Samantha back from Bella? All of a sudden, I had a bare brilliant idea. I stood up and announced, da -da -da -da! Ladies and gentlemen, introducing DJ the Terrific and his magic spoon. I held the spoon to my mouth and put it on my nose. I let go and held out my paws. Ta-da! Mommy and Daddy shook their heads, but Bella laughed and clapped. Mine! Mine! She pleaded. Okay, Bella, I said. You can play with my magic spoon if I can play with Samantha. Bella giggled. Spoon! Spoon! It worked! I made the trade and ran upstairs. In my room, I set up my safari animals on the floor and introduced them to Samantha. Then, I pressed the button on her head, and she started singing. Safari, safari, let's go on a safari, safari, safari. Grab your camera and come with me. Camera? There was a camera in my story box. I opened the lid and took it out. I held it with both paws, closed my eyes, and said the special rhyme Grampy Bear taught me. With this object that I hold, there is a story to be told. All of a sudden, there was a warm gust of air on my fur. I opened my eyes to find myself in the middle of a wide, grassy field. Samantha was there, too. Whoa! She's much taller in person. She said, I'm glad you're here. I'd like to take pictures of the animals, but I've lost my camera. I'll help you look for it, I said, and took a picture of her happy face. Just then, we heard a loud munching sound above our heads. <laughs> what do you think it was? Whoa! A giraffe was looking down at us. His long neck let him eat the leaves off the highest branches. <laughs> I took a photo of the giant giraffe. Then Samantha sang, Giraffes eat leaves right out of the trees. We don't even reach their knees. Maybe your camera is by the river, I suggested. At the river, we saw an elephant with her trunk in the water. The elephant licked her trunk and then poured water into her mouth. She drank and drank. I always thought an elephant used her trunk like a straw. I called out to the elephant, Say cheese! Samantha sang, Elephants fill their trunks to drink like they have their own personal sink. Still looking for the camera, we came to a lake with a bunch of big rocks in the water. Suddenly, one of the rocks started to move. Hey! It wasn't a rock at all! It was a hippopotamus! There was a whole family of hippos in the water. It must have been bath time. I snapped the picture, and Samantha sang, Hippos rest in the water by day, then at night they come out to play. A little further down, 
along the path, we saw a group of lions sitting on some rocks. We crept towards them very carefully. There was a daddy and a mommy lion and two lion cubs, just like my family. Who are the people in your family? I took their picture. The daddy lion stood up, let out a roar, and led his family away from us. Phew. Then Samantha sang, a group of lions is called the pride, couldn't be prouder if they tried. <laughs> then I noticed something on the rocks. Hey, look, I said. Isn't that your camera? Samantha said, it sure is. I must have left it here on my last safari. Samantha sure seems happy to have her camera back. To celebrate, I asked her if we could sing the whole safari song. She said, great idea. Samantha cleared her throat and got ready to sing. Come on, sing along with us. We don't even reach their knees. Elephants fill their trunks to drink like they have their own personal sink. Hippos rest in the water by day, then at night they come out to play. A group of lions is called a pride, couldn't be prouder if they tried. Yeah! Safari, safari, let's go on a safari, safari, safari. Grab your camera and come with me. Just as the song ended, I heard something in the distance. It sounded like Bella. Suddenly, I was back in my room on a bearific safari. I thanked Samantha and started cleaning up my toys, but then I noticed something. Samantha now had a tiny camera around her neck. She didn't have a camera before our adventure, did she? Hmm.